Have you ever seen a structure like this? What about this one? Maybe you've played in a park like the one I'm standing in. These are all flood control facilities, and they are built to protect you and our community from flash floods. Thanks for joining me. My name is Jessie, and I'm from the Regional Flood Control District. Today, we're gonna learn about flooding, including how to stay safe when it happens. If you've got a piece of paper in front of you, Write down one thing that you think might cause a flood. If you don't have anything to write with, that's okay. Go ahead and think of it in your mind. Okay, great. Tell me what you think can cause flooding. A tsunami. Yup, when that big wave comes crashing onto the dry land and brings lots of water with it. What else? A hurricane. Yes, and what about a hurricane causes flooding? Some of you said rain and you're right, but you don't need a hurricane to get rainfall, do you? Nope. In an area like Las Vegas, all we need is a small storm to trigger a flash flood in our valley. Let's take a guess how much rain. Point to the box on your screen to the amount you think can cause a flash flood in Southern Nevada. If you guessed one inch, way to go. That's not a lot of rain as you can see here. But where we live, it's more than enough to cause a flash flood. What is this? Oh. Oh, it's gross. Flooding can happen here for two reasons. First is because we live in a valley. Take a moment to write down or think in your mind what a valley is. A valley is an area of land that has a low point surrounded by mountains, like where most of us live in Las Vegas. What's special about our valley is we're shaped like a bowl that's tipped on its side. If you've been to Mount Charleston or Red Rock, give me a thumbs up. Whoa, a lot of you. Here on the high end of our valley are Mount Charleston and Red Rock. And down at the bottom, or the east side, is our lake. If you know the name of our lake, tell me now. That's right, a lot of you said Lake Mead. Wherever it rains in our valley, because of this slope, it's gonna make its way down to Lake Mead. The second reason we get flash floods has to do with our geology, or the makeup of our ground. Take a good look at these. Do you hear that? Tell me what you think this is. Most of you said rocks, and you're on the right track. This is caliche, which is a special kind of soil or crust in our earth that we also call desert cement. If you dig into our ground here, it's often what you're gonna find. Let's take a closer look at how this causes flash floods. Here we have a couple pieces of caliche which you know makes up the soil in our ground. Now, think of somewhere you've been or seen where it rains a lot. Maybe Florida or parts of Mexico. They have a very different type of soil in their ground. One way to tell this is because of all the greenery, such as trees and plants you see around, unlike our desert landscape. This sponge represents that type of soil. First, let's see what happens when it rains on the sponge. What did you see? Okay, let's look at what happens with the caliche. What was different? 
Kalichi can't absorb water, so it rolls right off while the other soaks it right up. Now we know two of the main reasons we get flash floods in our area. When it rains, the water can't absorb into the ground. And since our valley is on a slope with a high point and a low point of our tilted bowl, the rainfall stays on the surface and rushes down to Lake Mead. Wipe, wipe, wipe it down. Wipe, wipe, wipe. I don't wipe get it. it. Wipe. Uh oh. Wipe. <laughs> Flash floods happen fast, and the summer months bring the monsoon season, which is a weather pattern that brings a lot of rainfall, so it's also our flash flood season. But flooding can occur any time of the year. So it's on us to make good decisions when it comes to flood safety. Earlier, you saw some of the flood control facilities we helped build to protect Clark County. Here's another look at a flood channel and a storm drain. We have hundreds and hundreds of miles of these built all over Southern Nevada. You could drive over a storm drain and there could be water flowing in it and you don't even know it. Think of these like roads for water that eventually lead to Lake Mead. And this big ditch is what we call a detention basin. It's like a bathtub for rain except it holds lots and lots of water. At one end is an outlet, similar to a drain in a bathtub. It slows down the amount of storm water that can travel through to the channels and storm drains. Write down, or think of in your mind, two reasons why it's never a good idea to go into these facilities. If you thought of any of these, give me a virtual high five when you see it on the screen. They are dangerous. You could drown. They're dirty. There's trash. You could get stuck. You might fall. Water could come at any time. That's right. Remember, it could be raining up in the mountains and sunny where you are. The water is traveling 30 miles per hour, which will knock you off your feet. This is why we never want to play in this system, even when it's not raining. Let's take a look at that rainwater again. Since it's not absorbing into the ground, it's picking up everything on the roads. What are some of the things you might find in the water? Say the words on the screen aloud with me. Trash, nails, oil, gas, broken glass, rocks, water bottles, poop. Poop, it's true. Not only do we wanna stay out of the rainwater because we can drown, but it's also dirty and can make us sick. We need to do our part to help keep that water clean. That means pick up after your pets, put trash in the trash can and recyclables in the recycle bin. This water flows to Lake Mead, which is our main source of drinking water. Yes, we clean it, but we should still do our part to protect our environment. There's one more thing we need to know about flood safety. Give me a thumbs up if you're old enough to drive. Oh, okay. No one can reach the gas pedal yet. I get it. Well, you might not be old enough to drive, but I bet you know lots of people who are. When you see flooding on the streets, it's important we don't drive through the water. It takes about one foot or one roller stick of water on the roads to pick up a car sweep it away. Next time it's raining, remind whoever's driving you, turn around, don't drown.
made, so you back him. Yeah. I'm a savage. Savage. Classy, bougie. I'm bougie. Ratchet. 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 Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now you know what causes flash floods in our valley and how to stay safe if one occurs. We're gonna watch a video to recap what we talked about so far. While you're watching, I want you to keep an eye out for a few things. See if you can spot any cars that got stuck trying to drive through flooded roadways. Take a close look at how dirty the water is and watch how fast the water is moving. Do you think you could swim or run faster than that water? No. Also, pay special attention to the three Ds of flash flood safety. Yes, it is a desert out there. Sure, it hardly rains, but a few raindrops like me landing in our desert can quickly turn into a raging flood. Cars can float away, people can get hurt, plus homes and buildings can be destroyed. Our sky is usually sunny and clear. Rainstorms don't happen often in our dry climate. When rain does fall, though, it only takes less than one inch of rain to cause a flash flood. Here's why. We have a lot of hard crust in our soil called caliche. Some call it desert concrete. It forms just under the ground and it can't absorb water. So the water runs right off the ground into the streets or through washes, natural channels formed by running water. When rain falls on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley near Red Rock, it runs to the east side near Boulder Highway. It's a big downhill slope. To look at it another way, the Las Vegas Valley is like a giant bowl tipped on its side. The rainwater doesn't soak into the ground, instead it just slides right down the bowl from one side to the other. It's important to know how to stay safe when a flood occurs in the desert. To help you remember the dangers of flood water, let's learn the three D's of flash flood safety so you know how to stay safe from floods. The first D of flash flood safety you need to know is flood water and flash floods are dangerous. Flood water is fast and powerful. It can move extremely quickly and it can knock you off your feet. Flood water will flow through the streets down into drainage pipes called storm drains and into flood channels. These are pathways that direct water away from your school, your neighborhood, and your home. The water travels inside these channels until they reach a detention basin. Think of these as really big bathtubs. These basins can be as big as 170 football fields in length and 55 feet deep. The detention basins take in huge amounts of flood water and release the water back into channels and underground storm drains at a much slower pace so it can travel safely through the valley into Lake Mead. Channels and detention basins are no place to play. They are dangerous. The water moves so fast it can sweep you under or you could drown. Don't ever go into flood channels and don't get in detention basins either. Remember, it's dangerous. Keep your friends, your family, and even your pets away from these areas at all times. Even without water in them, they are still very dangerous because water can rush in even if it's not raining where you are. The second D of flash flood safety is dirty. Flood water is absolutely filthy. Flood waters are filled with junk like oil, chemicals, and pet waste. It washes off yards down streets and into storm drains and detention basins. It's a dirty and dangerous place, one where you should never swim and play. The deep channels hide trash like nails, broken glass, and construction debris. It's so dirty that you can't see what may be under the water. Not only can this filthy water hurt you, but it can also harm our environment. Water from washing your car at home sprinklers and rainstorms flows to Lake Mead where we get most of our drinking water. Pollutants like trash and chemicals in the water can hurt plants and wildlife like fish and birds. Everyone, including you, can help protect the land we live on, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. If you see someone littering or dumping trash in the desert or into storm drains, tell your parents. They can call the Regional Flood Control District at 702 685 Zero, 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 zero. Remember, flood water is dirty, but it is our job to pollute less. We all need to protect the environment, not only for today, but for future generations. The last D of flash flood safety you need to remember is don't drive. So, you know playing in flood water is dangerous, but what about driving in it? You are not safe there either. 
You never want to drive through any amount of water. Just an inch of water can cause you to lose control of the car. All it takes is two feet of water for the car to float away and you with it. The smart thing to do is always stay away from flooded areas. Floods are very powerful and can destroy anything in its path. Half of all deaths caused by flash floods are because people try to drive through flooded streets. This puts the drivers, the passengers, and the rescuers at risk. So remember to tell your parents, don't drive through floodwaters. It's just not safe and it's just not smart. Your parents can also get a ticket for driving through a flooded street. You need to make sure your parents don't put themselves, you, or the firemen trying to rescue you in danger. If a street is flooded, turn around, don't drown. When it rains, be alert. There are many signs that'll tell you rain may be coming. Lightning and thunderstorms in the valley can be beautiful, but make sure you're inside to enjoy them. Listen to radio or TV. You can learn if there's a flash flood watch or a flash flood warning. A flash flood watch means it's raining heavily and a flood could happen soon. Tell an adult if you know there's a flash flood watch and stay out of the rain. A flash flood warning means a flash flood is happening right now. Tell an adult and get to high ground right away. Storms in Southern Nevada happen fast. The water will go away fast. Just stay inside and wait until the water is off the streets. You can also check out the Regional Flood Control website. There you'll find out how much rain is falling around the valley. If a lot of rain is falling, stay inside and away from the water. Flash flood season starts July through September, but floods in Southern Nevada can happen anytime and anywhere. So remember, be prepared, be alert, and make smart decisions so that you can stay dry and stay alive. From Caliche to Monsoons, be sure to share what you learned today with your friends and family. The more of us who know about flooding, the safer we all are. Now before you go, let's take one last look at a flood control facility. As tempting as it may be, it's never safe to play in a flood channel or a storm drain, even if the gate is unlocked. As an added bonus, we'll finish with one more video showcasing the dangers of these drains. Thanks for joining me, and remember to be flood safe. Ha ha ha!